I would make a good present. Oh, sorry, didn't because I have honesty. And if there are little green men out there, I will freaking get the government to tell you. Yes, I will. And I will get the miracle drug released. No matter what I have to do, even if I have to, like, shot in the head in the process, it will be released. <clears throat> the California... Uh, no, not the California, the Alaska oil pipe thingy will be built. Because at this point, well, it really doesn't matter. JK. No oil pipes. So I'm not going to find the coal industry or the oil industry. I mean, that's just stupid. It's not going to cut back on how much people use it if we tax it. People are still going to use it. And though I will encourage the use of solar and wind technologies. <clears throat> and you know what? Another thing. Um, I would cut like all the stupid shit in Congress. No more two million dollar fucking plays. No more people. No more. <clears throat> If I were president, I would teach Congress a lesson for sure, and there would be more agreement. I do not belong to a party. Um, I belong to the country. I am not an affiliate with either side, in my opinion. Um, as for abortion, I'm not going to outright ban it. Um, in the cases of extremely defective mentally or physically children or in rape cases. Otherwise, you can just put your baby up for adoption. Because people, it's a life. Just adoption. Because they have special little halfway houses where you can go to give birth for your baby and then put it up for adoption instead. They will actually take care of all your pregnancy needs and you can pull out at any time. No pun intended. So, yeah. That's my policy on abortion. I think it's pretty good. I mean, it's a life, people. It's a life. So, my policy, I already told you my energy policy, and my economics, really, we, we should definitely cut back on some spending. The military spending, it sh we should, well, increase spending on that because a hollow military is quite stupid. We used to be the power of the countries, the policemen of the uni. Well, not the universe, but this planet, anyways. <sighs> so, we will confirm the existence of aliens. We will release a miracle pill. We're not going to find the oil industry or the coal industry because people are still going to use that regardless. And you're just making it more expensive, though. We will encourage the use of... Well, renewable resources such as like hydroelectric plants, wind, solar. But I want to discourage the use of nuclear power. Okay? That shit is dangerous. I'm sure we've all heard of Chernobyl with the four headed baby birds. <clears throat> stuff. I mean, it's like so radioactive that barely anybody can live there. Very dangerous. So, yeah. I guess this is why I should be president. But I'm too young for this election, so... I guess I'll try next time. 
I am only 16 right now, and I have extensive knowledge of government policies. Oh, I forgot foreign policy. Well, that was stupid. I would fucking crack down on Russia so hard that Vladimir Putin wouldn't know what hit him. He would be in big trouble. And why did we leave? You know what? He used to be head of the Russian secret police when it was communist. Who the hell let him stay in power? Really? Who the hell? So, yeah, the head of the Russian secret police, this, I, this government is so stupid. At least I have a little bit of common sense, people. I'm 16 and I could do the pe president's job better than him. Six fucking teen. Yeah, wrap your little heads around that. <clears throat> no more treadmill shrimps. Shrimp treadmills. I mean, that's ridiculous. Shrimp treadmills? The government is funding that? What the hell? What, is there a shrimp obesity crisis more important than our own? And I, I'm just going to wrap it up before I start yelling louder than I am.